Topic. Motion and measurement of distances. What is motion? We see many things moving around us. When the bodies keep on changing their position with respect to some other objects, then it is called motion. Example. A boy walking along the road. What is rest? A body is said to be at rest when it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding objects. Example. If a flower pot is lying on the table, then the flower pot is at rest with respect to the surroundings. Rest and motion. A body seems to be at rest with respect to one object but may appear to be in motion with respect to some other object. Example. A person on a railway platform is at rest with respect to another person, on the same platform, but is in motion with reference to a person looking at him from a train crossing the platform. Similarly, a passenger sitting in the train will appear at rest to another passenger on the same train. Types of motion. Number 1. Rectilinear motion. Rectilinear motion is the motion of an object that moves in a straight line. Example. A train moving on a track parade. Coins tossed in the air. Number 2. Circular motion. Circular motion is that in which an object moves at a fixed distance from a fixed point. Here, all objects rotate in circular motion. Number 3. Periodic motion. Periodic motion is motion that repeats itself at regular intervals of time. Example. Motion of a child on a swing. And the surface of tabla being played. Measurement The term measurement refers to comparison of some unknown quantity with a known fixed quantity of same kind. The known fixed quantity is called unit. Standard units of measurements the unit which is acceptable to the majority of the people as a basic unit of measurement is called a standard unit. For the sake of uniformity, scientists all over the world have accepted a set of standard units of measurement. The system of units now used is known as the International System of Units, Psi Units. The Psi unit of length is a meter. Each meter, M, is divided into 100 equal divisions, called centimeter, centimeters. Each centimeter has 10 equal divisions, called millimeter, millimeters. Thus, 1m equals 100 centimeters, 1 centimeters equals 10 millimeters. For measuring large distances, meter is not a convenient unit. We define the larger unit of length. It is called kilometer, kilometers. One kilometers equals one thousand m. Now, we can repeat all our measurement activities using a standard scale and measure in psi units.